So guys, when it comes to how to select the right manufacturer, I've come to the conclusion that um, you better have an order when it comes to like filtering or classifying the information somehow with the providers, with the manufacturers. And what that means is that I have come up with an Excel file, uh, Excel for those who have um, uh, Windows computers, numbers for all of those who have Mac computers, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, it's basically an Excel file, an Excel sheet, you know, that um, where you can have all the information attached to, um, you know, to one file so you can compare them. But first, before we dive into the like the actual file, um, I'm going to show you guys the blueprint and the Excel file on how to select the right people to work with, on how to select the manufacturers, on how to organize the information that is, that's essential when it comes to like working with these people. Okay. So basically first we're going to ask for the X work FLB and DDP price. Okay. If you don't know what this means, basically the X work means that, um, they're going to quote us for just the product. Like they, they are literally not going to do anything else besides just making the product and that's it. Like they're going to limit themselves to that. So now on the FOB, they're going to quote us the price of, of the product and also how much is it going to be for them to put it in the port? Okay. For them to like actually take the, you know, the 200, 300 units that you're buying and, you know, get that to the port, whatever the port is, if it's uh, like a uh, Shenzhen port in, in China, um, whatever the port is, that's what the FOB it's, it's called free on board FOB. So that's what's included. Okay. It's different than, uh, just X work. Okay. X work is just like how much is it is for the product. That's it. FOB, how much is is the product going to be? Plus, uh, how much are you, are you going to charge me to, um, you know, get it, like take it to the port and DDP is everything. So what that means is that how much are you going to charge me for, um, you know, to make the product and get it to the Amazon warehouse in the U S if, the US is the marketplace you're gonna sell in. So now the MOQ, this stands for minimum order quantity. How many uh, are they gonna require us to order? So that's basically what this means. How many uh, should I buy? Like a uh, minimum, you know, like, cause they, they always come up with these crazy numbers like, oh, minimum 500 units, a thousand, 2000 units. That's never true. Okay, that's, that's what they're gonna say uh, right off the bat, but we know that's not true. Okay. So that's what, um, can get you sometimes it, it actually got me, but then, you know, you talk things through with them and they are fine that you're not, you know, ordering 2000 units right out, right out of the bat when you just met them right in your first run of inventory. So that's fine. And then we have the payment terms. Um, if you're putting 30% down payment, um, and 70% when they are done and instead of doing like 50, 50, okay, never. And I feel like I should put something in, in like a red inside or something, but never do a hundred percent, um, pay, down payment, right? Cause that's going to get you a lot like that, that that's going to be so, 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 so bad for you. Never do this. Um, honestly, nobody, I, I don't, I don't know why somebody would do this, but <laughs> never give them a hundred percent of your money, uh, upfront. Okay. Always usually they go with this. Okay. Uh, 30% down and then 70% when you are done. So that's basically what the, what this means. And something else that I thought including here that, you know, may, may surprise you is that sometimes, um, you know, when you get like, uh, after the inspection and all that, sometimes, sometimes what's pretty interesting is that, you know, you get returns from either Amazon or the actual customers and you can be like, okay, Hey, you can tell this to your manufacturer and be like, Hey, all these returns, can we exchange them for free units for the next round of inventory? Let's say that you had a total of 20, 25 uh, returns, 25 like units, which is a pretty healthy amount. If you're going to buy around like two, 300 units for your first round of invent inventory, uh, 15, 20, 25 um, refunds, like returns. That's pretty common. That's pretty healthy actually. So don't freak out if you have, don't freak out if you have more than that, that's fine. As long as you, as long as you don't have like hundreds of returns, you're fine. Uh, you can actually tell them, Hey, uh, let's just exchange them for, for units for next, uh, now round of inventory. Now we get, we're going to have the Excel file when it comes to the actual, um, in information about all this, I'm going to show you guys right here. 
basically you're just gonna put the name of the person you're talking to if not just the at least the name of the company name so in this case i'll show you guys um okay so this is the the name of this is gonna be fuji fujian so let me just like you can just like copy and paste this and then what app are you on? I'm asking if you guys are talking, like, where are you talking on? Like, are you on Alibaba still? Are you on Gmail? Uh, if you're talking on Gmail, you can just like put Gmail here. And on and then on the website, it's pretty obvious, right? So you just like copy and paste the website here. On the WeChat ID, I'm asking for that, like their WeChat username, right? All this, uh, like the website, WhatsApp, uh, uh, the Chinese version of WhatsApp, it's a long number. Like, so you can just like, you know, uh, ask him, uh, you know, straight up right away. Be like, hey, what's your WeChat ID? Because I feel like that's that would be a more organized way of talking. And then we're going to get the email of that person. It is usually right here, like somewhere, send inquiry. So, uh, so you, you just need to find a way to get in touch with them. And that's usually when they're going to um, uh, when you can see like the information of these people. Uh, Okay, I have to sign in, so let me just do that pretty quick so I can show you guys how that usually goes. But yeah, it's usually like a dashboard where you're gonna have like the information of that person. So you can just um, put that info right here on the email. Okay, now I have like this person's email and then um, that's it, that, that's that's basically what, what this means. So uh, when I say right, is that basically how how good or how bad is the conversation going is how fluent are they um are they actually doing what i'm what i'm telling them if you didn't see like last week's video i told them to hey do not reply on alibaba uh, get in touch with me on my email okay on the product specifications sheet um that's ex that's every single you know thing that i want them to do is on that list so are they are they actually reading what i'm telling them or not really if you if you really don't feel like they're doing it uh the, the right way just say no um or if they're doing it just say yes um the price for 200 units 500 units a thousand units and then the income term what are we doing like are we doing ddp or what are we doing you can just put there uh the minimum order quantity let's say that they ask you for at least 150 units and then for the price for the packaging or also if you're gonna do packaging say yes and then how much if they're uh, if they're asking for like two dollars a unit for the packaging sample price how much is it gonna be for the sample is it gonna be free which is which usually is free and then sample lead time how long is it gonna take for them to ship my sample that's basically what that means payment terms are we doing 30 or 70 or like what are we doing late time as well uh for like the whole production is it gonna be like um uh, 30 business days that's what i like to call it and then on the port, what port are they using? It's usually the uh, Sensing um, port. I hope I get that right. Sensing port, because uh, you know it's Chinese uh, name. The HS code, you ask them for that. Any of you are doing the logo, but that's not important. Actually, you can just remove that. If you have like the, um, you know, as long as you have this info, you should be okay. Uh, you really don't need more than this. This is basically um, for you guys can, for, for you guys to organize your ideas and be like, okay, uh, and so you don't have to like scroll down to, um, you know, back to the conversations and be like, oh, what did he tell me? Oh, what's his email? Um, is he doing the, the right stuff? Is he like, do I like the, the way like he's doing it? Um, or, oh, how much was he for like 500 units again? You have it all here, okay? So there's some way to like go back somewhere else and look for it. You have a quick way to summarize everything that you guys have been talking about. So that's it, guys. This is Oscar from MC One Step. We help Amazon brands to start and grow their brand, listing images, conversion rate, and much more. So if you need help with any of that, feel free to visit our website and schedule a call with us. And uh, thanks for watching uh, this video, guys. If you want this Excel file, uh, just reach out to us, okay? Just uh, uh, get in touch with us and we will um, uh, we'll be glad to send you the, the stuff that we have built with all this experience and time of selling on Amazon. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just reach out to us. Thanks for watching this video and please take care. Thank you. Bye.